now to comments by some individual that they can shoot down the helicopter of the military. I think that's laughable. In fact, I'm about to laugh about that. And I say that because, you know, we're in a democracy and we're in a prof and we are a professional force. We cannot just, based on somebody's comments, begin to do certain things and then they will not accuse the military of being undemocratic. The military is not the only security agency, force, or department in the country. There are other security forces who have a role to play constitutionally when it comes to some of these issues. But I tell you that he doesn't have that capability. He's just blabbing. Hello, guys. Too many confusion in Nigeria. Tension as Nigerian army spit fire after Sari Dukubo said he has power to shoot or to shoot military aircraft. Nigerians, this will really shock you. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for let's stopping by. By just joining us, I beg subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. The defense headquarters has responded to a viral video featuring the former Niger Delta militant, Hasari Dekubo, in which he claimed he had the capability to bring down the military aircraft allegedly hovering over his house during the recent River State local government elections. Dekubo, who has long been a vocal supporter of the Nigerian government in certain contests, made these claims in the content of what he perceived as intimidation tactics against him. He stated, the federal government knows that I have the capacity to bring down any aircraft too. In response, Major General Edward Buba, the Director of Defense Media Operations, dismissed the Kubo's remarks, labeling them as laughable. He went on to clarify that Dukubo was merely making baseless statements and that he did not possess the means or the capability to challenge the Nigerian military, much less to bring down the aircraft. Buba emphasized that the Nigerian military and other security agencies routinely deploy aircraft and helicopters as part of the national security operations. These actions, he noted, are carried out professionally and within the boundaries of Nigeria's democratic framework. He also suggested that it is in the responsibility of it is the responsibility of the relevant civil authorities to address such claims and statements from individuals like Dokubo. In a separate matter, uh, Ba addressed reports concerning. 13 repentant Boko Haram terrorists who allegedly escaped from a rehabilitation camp with rifles. He clarified that the military is not responsible for the administration of the, the radicalization, rehabilitation, and reintegration, re 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 the RR program, which is managed by other authorities. However, he assured the public that measures are being put in place to prevent such incidents and to ensure that the program remains effective. Uba also provided an update on ongoing military operations in the northwest of Nigeria, particularly against terrorists and bandits. He revealed that over 300 terrorist commanders had been neutralized in the past quarter as part of the military revised approach in the region. The military's efforts, he explained, are aimed at uh, replicating the success achieved in the Northeast when similar operations have significantly uh, weakened a terrorist group. Some of the wanted terrorist commanders have reportedly expressed interest in surrounding under the military's new operational framework named Operation Fasan. Yama, which focus on bringing the latest peace to the Northwest 
the military remains committed to its objective of restoring security and stability across the affected regions. So guys, um, Nigerian army have spoken consigning uh, what transpired in Jokubo's house in the river state. So the defense headquarters responded to a viral video featuring the former Niger Delta militant, Asari Dokubo, in which he claimed he had the capability, he get the power, he get the power, he get the might to bring down the military aircraft allegedly hovering around his house during the recent River State local government elections. So Dokubo has long been a vocal supporter of the Nigerian government in certain contests made this claim in the context of in the context of what he perceived as intimidation tactics against him. He stated that the federal government knows that he has the capacity to bring down a helicopter. Now this one so now in the first Nigerian army, how the Kuba go say he will bring down the helicopter. Where that one they happen? Well at the drop and for you, the one when I not to like again, when he talks, say, some uh, bandit commanders are ready to surrender. How are we sure that these people are really ready to surrender? It's not just by coming out to say, I've surrendered to see my disease and that. No, it's beyond that. So if they surrender, now what happens to them? That is another question. If these people surrender, they know they do their wicked uh, doings again what happened you know to them so people when we say they don't buy like that they could just go nothing nothing even in the quran in the bible there is a there is a punishment for people like that so they could just say oh we don't surrender because oh welcome welcome yeah welcome back to the society tell me how these things will end so guys i'm dropping it here kindly drop your comments below the comment section we case soldiers, we case police, whoever had been flying over my house, my house and my compound in the last 30 minutes with two helicopter gun chip. I have the capacity to contain them. Nigeria cannot surrender to Wiki. Rivers people will not surrender to Wiki. Ijo people will not surrender to Wiki. I have the capacity to contain them. And the government knows that I have the capacity to contain them. Are responsible for handling such cases to take up the matter. Ours is come on the battlefield and we take you out. You should come on the battlefield and see whether we can react or not.